Hello, Gran. Hello, lovely lad. Come on, oh. give your old Gran a kiss. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's grand to see you. You shouldn't have gone to all this trouble just for me. That's for the bank holiday carnival. There's a prize for the best decorated shop, you know. You don't change, do you? You never could resist a competition. Hello, no. oh, no, Mrs. Turner. Oh, Mr. <laughs> doesn't look very safe to me. Of course it is. I'll take you for a spin this afternoon, if you like. A nice Sunday outing? <laughs> no, thank you. Well, come on, then. Bring your things in if you're stopping. Your all room's all ready for you. you. Must be famished after that long drive. Mm. Dinner's nearly ready. Morning, Mrs. Turner. Hello, Charlie. Hello. Hello. Who's that? Shelly Arblaster. You remember the Arblasters, don't you? She's certainly grown. <laughs> you haven't changed, have you? <laughs> oh, well, I suppose you'd like a nice cup of tea. Oh, yes, please. I'll tell you one thing you won't remember, our Donald. Mm -hmm. Our little tortoise. Tortoise? She dropped it, cracked its shell. She cried her eyes out till we mended it for her. With the arnica? And a bulldog bicycle tire patch. Yes. I don't know. And here you are, a properly qualified vet. Oh, you must be really proud, our Donald. I am. I'm really proud of you. It's all your fault, of course. If you hadn't encouraged me. <laughs> there was no stopping you. Animal mad you always were. Still am. Oh, the end tomorrow's the big day. Are you excited? Well. I'm a bit nervous now it's coming nervous? to it. Nervous? Well, you've no need to be, I'm sure. Oh, uh, Mr. Webb looks a bit of a tartar. Mm. This is a good bet, though. But don't you let him bully you, will you? Representatives on the Monday morning. Ah, no, I'm not a representative. I'm Donald Turner, reporting for duty. Oh, Mr. Turner. Well, you're early, Mr. Webb isn't here yet. No. Well. Well, you better go through to the surgery. I guess on Ledbetter, Mr. Webb's receptionist and secretary and nurse when he needs one, a sort of general factotum, you might say. Yes. Yes, of course. You've not seen the surgery before? No. Mr. Webb interviewed me in London. Oh, he always holds his interviews there. It's more economical for him to go to London than to pay train fares for all the candidates to come here. Yes, I suppose it must be. Yeah, he does it quite often, then. What's that? Interviews candidates. Oh, quite often. Very modern, is it? Well, it does the job. We don't believe in throwing money away on things just because they happen to be new. No, no of course not. Uh, Miss, um, Ethel. Yes? You said he does it quite a lot, interviews. Yes. Has he had many assistants, then? Oh, yes. Well, there he is now, by the sound of it. Right, Go on in, Nanny. Put him on the table, and we'll see what we can do. Ah, uh, Mr. 
Mr. Um, Tanner. Donald Tanner. Yes, yes, Donald. Good morning. Welcome. Nothing urgent. Good. We'll deal with this first, then. Shall I assist you? No, 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 young, um... Don Mr. Donald can help me. That's what he's here for, after all, eh? <laughs> right, then. There's your first patient. Motor car. Cats have got no sense on the road. Now, what seems to be the trouble? He's been knocked down by a car. Right, Marion? I see. If you'll just hold his head in front, pause. Ah, oh, no, on second thoughts, it might be better if Mr. Webb held him. We don't want you getting scratched all bitten, do we? Mr. Webb? Uh, yes. If you'll just stand over there, please. Get on, then. Mm, it's nasty, isn't it? Mm. All right. All right. Yes. I'll just check him over to make sure there's nothing else. What's his name? Fluff. Fluff, eh? And whose little bit of Fluff is he? He's a she and she's mine. Ah, is she? Well, looks as though your Fluff's had a lucky escape. She's not going to die, is she? No, I'd say she's still got eight lives left. We should be able to patch her up all right. I'll just give her a little injection, just a little local anaesthetic to stop it hurting, like when you go to the dentist, OK? <clears throat> and then uh, we'll stitch her up, and I'll give her a shot of penicillin to make sure the wound penicillin? is... Penicillin? What are you talking about? I think Alexander Fleming invented penicillin for cats. Oh, but at college... We... You're not in your fancy London college now, Ronald. We're not made of money, and neither are our customers. You can swap it out with acroflavine. That's perfectly adequate. Ah, you're here at last then, Alan. Ah, oh, don't you start. I've had your Alice on to me about being home late for tea. Oh, what's the trouble? Oh, I've got the auditors in, turning everything upside down. Oh, nothing wrong, is there? Well, of course there isn't. It's just that everything else has to stop. I'm supposed to be preparing a big report for the board meeting this week, as if I hadn't got enough to do. 